Hello, good morning. Welcome back to another episode. Life with Lewis and Robbie. Ooh. There's a big truck and it's about to cut us off. If the camera wasn't sitting precariously up there on the dashboard, I'd zip around this truck. Second last vlog of the year. Are we going to stop? Who knows? It's a mystery yet. I'll just see how my mental health is at the end of these <laughs> uh, 25 vlogs. We're off to breakfast this morning. It is my mum's birthday. Happy she birthday, the... Barbara. Happy birthday, Bob. And then I'm going to take my mum out to get a little mani-pedi, get our nails done, a little bit of shopping. You might get a little footy rub. Keen. Bit of a chill day in the Mocker house, though. Oh. Robbie! I'm coming! Come! Hello! <laughs> I have returned! I got my nails done, did a little shopping with my Martha. What's this, Rob? Having a wine! Robbie's having a wine! It's the festive season! Robbie, you're turning into me. <gasps> so we just launched yesterday's vlog. It was a little bit late because I was out. Ten minutes ago. Doing my stuff. Literally ten minutes ago, and we've already had a couple of submissions yeah. to our quiz. By the way, have you submitted your quiz? Have you not? It's the link down below. You can win a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars! Thousand dollar Remy's! Merry Christmas, motherfucker! One person has already <gasps> answered all the correct answers. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Did we make it hard enough? Maybe not. But Ooh. you want to read? You should. Read. I won't show who, and I won't show the answers. Can you see them all on this page? Very good, very good, very good. Ooh, ooh, that one got ya. That one got a that couple one got, people. That one got someone, hey. I'll give you a little tip, peeps, if you're doing this. So far, the where do we buy our morning coffee from? There's been a couple of unsuccessful responses on that one. So you need to do your research. Go mm -hmm. watch the Vlogmas. Go watch the episodes. <laughs> now, what are we doing on this fucking vlog today, eh? Who knows? Ooh. Let me let you in on a little vlog behind the scenes. Every day, I wake up and share some ideas. Let's do this today on the vlog. Let's share this. Let's do this. Let's do that. And Louis Mocker, nine times out of ten, says no. No, 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 no. Hey, Louis. Well, because I'm a filter. You come up with some shit ideas, I filter it down. I take your ten shit ones and I turn it into one good one. Yeah, and but then... we then, run with the one good one. No, then what usually happens is I just keep pushing and promoting it, and then eventually he does bend to it, and we do do it, and it comes out like these great ideas, right? <sighs> but it's the build-up in the meantime that is very frustrating. This is Robbie's great idea. One of them... I've got to wear this fucking thing. <laughs> The people want to see it, babe. They don't want to see it. The people want to see it. No one gives a fuck, Robbie. Everybody wants to see the 80s outfit. No, they don't. They do. They literally don't care. A little bit of George McMichael. Tell me right now in the comments that you don't want to see this. Tell me. Tell me. I don't believe it. The people want to see it. A couple of years ago, I bought this um, Christmas sweater. I thought it was amazing. Yep. As you can see, it's uh, Jeebus H. Christ. <laughs> On his birthday. Celebrating his birthday. <laughs> I would wear this because I think it's a great... Thing. It's just that in 2017 when I purchased it, I remember putting it on and being like, this is so tight and my fat <laughs> turkey is sticking right out the front like this. Now that I'm 10 kilos more. No, you're not. I will literally break this. No, it's a sweater. Look how big that sweater is. You're lying. Put it on. Put it, it will on. literally it on. be the second coming of Show Jesus us. Christ if I put Show this on. Us. I this have such confidence that it will fit over your current t shirt. No, you don't. I do. You're trying to get me to put it on Bet to make me a fucking. To Come make on. a dick of myself. Jesus Christ will fucking rise from the dead if this fits on. It will fit. I didn't say that it wouldn't be snug, but it fit. It will fit. Look at the arms, for one. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sucking in. It's actually not too bad. Pretty comfy. What do you think? You look great in a sweater, babe. Can you wear that for Christmas morning? Yes. I think my mum will bl <laughs> <laughs> Is this condescending to Christians, or is it... It's kind of like a compliment. I mean, it is Jesus' birthday. It's kind of like I'm acknowledging Jesus' birthday. Come back here, Jesus. Jesus! We're going out to get some ingredients. Lewis has made some very specific requests. <laughs> I felt like some, what do you call it? Tapas. Tapas style food, which look, I'm all for. I like a nibble, I like to graze. So tonight, we're not looking for a big meal, but we're, no. gonna, go, we're gonna go shopping now to Woolworths. We're gonna get some tapas, some light bites. We're gonna come home, cook it, maybe have some wine, play a few board games, and then yeah. run a bath and watch a movie. That is my perfect festive season night. Right. It's three days till Christmas, three nights, two and a half three days. Nights. We were gonna go and watch some um, Christmas lights tonight as well. Yes. But uh, we, I don't know, Maybe not tonight. It's a bit rainy, a bit gloomy anyway. It has just started to rain, but also I thought our sobriety was more of the concern. <laughs> everyone with a... T everyone... Did you see me waving at the Tesla runner? No. Everyone with a Tesla waves at each other. <laughs> We're in a club. An unspoken club. The Tesla club. You're also about to see something very rare, and that's Lewis in a grocery store. Oh, God. 
this here is called the Tingling Mint and Tea Tree, and I did purchase this once. <laughs> if you get this on your ball bag, <laughs> you'll know about it. It's very tingly. They should have a warning sign. Let's just say that I won't be buying this one again. <laughs> I thought my dick was going to bounce straight off. <laughs> Tell the people what you've done though. So I haven't posted much on TikTok, but um, one video that I did post on TikTok or what, ages ago, I was in this car park sitting over there and right here, we're in this car park and everyone hits their wheel on this lip. Now that we've got the Tessie here, I can park it and sentry mode records everyone around me. <laughs> and right here is the lip, you see? And you can see people, hold up, how the fuck do we go back? Here we go, here's someone coming. Does this guy, how does this guy go? Oh, <laughs> straight over the fucking... Everyone hits this bloody thing, mate. I'll tell another you what. One, Here we go. Oh, oh rim banger. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to park here every time and record it. <laughs> oh. I have just set us up. One hell of a sexy night, Robbie. Ooh. Board games. Oh. Movie. Oh. Bubble bath. Oh. Could be, Robbie. Ooh. Robbie, this is exactly what I had in my mind. Edamame, oh. some some pita slash naan bread, hummus. And here we have um, potato gems or potato tots. And then these beautiful little polentas and um, some delicious sauces and sides. Oh my gosh. Yum, 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 yum. Mm, exactly. Let's go. What do you want to watch? Something Christmassy. Home Alone? I mean, yeah, I'm pretty keen. I like Home Alone. I don't remember it. I haven't watched it since I was a kid. Same. You wanna watch it? Yeah, I wanna watch it. You wanna watch number one? Yeah. This is a peri peri chili mayo. Um it is so divine. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, mm. we're on. Oh, this is great. Little smoke me in scrabble, which is kind of a, a little bit ridiculous. Kind of inevitable. Is that what you meant to say? Inevitable, I don't know Come about this that. Way. Come this way. Hey, you got any Maltesers down there? Can you never buy these again? Oh, they're so good. Hey. Fucking ridiculous, mate. So we went out to Instagram this afternoon. It was a little bit dry on content. We thought, hey, have you got any juicy questions that Robbie and I can ask each other on the vlog? Mm -hmm. We got a bunch of them. Logan says, have you ever had a threesome? Me? No, Lewis too. Elaborate. Do I want to elaborate? I've had three, Robbie. Three? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot about Alicia who? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hookers and strippers on a stag. That's it? You're not going to say anything about your threesome? What do you want me to say? I don't know. You huh? got anything Anything juicy? I can't name names. <laughs> because they're with people who the vlog might know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that there's been people on the vlog who have been part of a threesome. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Rebrand says, hookers and strippers on a stag do. Is that okay or not okay? Well, of course for guys it's okay, but it's up to the girl to say if that's okay or not okay. Well, no, actually, let me, stag do is a guy's one. Yeah. So yeah, we're allowed to have strippers. Mm -hmm. Hookers, I think is a little, maybe a little bit too far, you know? Because if you're getting a hooker, to come on your stag do, someone's gonna shag them, and who's it gonna be? Eh? Now, if it's a hen's party, the girls' one, definitely no fucking strippers. I've seen too many videos on Pornhub about the dancing bear who comes in with a fucking bear suit, next minute the bride is balls fucking deep in the mouth. <laughs> There's no way. If you ever had a hen do, a hen party, which you wouldn't, no, you're not getting a fucking dancing bear there, that's for sure. Oh, I'm all for strippers, whatever. Hookers, I don't know. I think some of the boys tried to like hook up a little arrangement at um, Julian's Bucks party, but yeah. they were just strippers. I organized those strippers oh, for great. the boys, so yeah. I don't have an issue with strippers at all. Oh, great. I still follow one of them on Instagram. Yeah! Do you want to answer a serious one or not? One moment that you appreciate in your life the most. Ugh, mine's easy. What's yours? Tony Robbins. Oh yeah? Is it too deep to go into now? Yeah. Yeah, too way too deep. Yeah, well, another time, another time. What a tease. <laughs> what a tease. Our masters have heard it. They've heard yeah. an hour, hour long story of it. It'll give we you, did. when Warby tells a story, it'll give you goosebumps and your hairs will stand <laughs> up. It's really inspiring. It's great. I'll share a real quick one. Um, a moment that I appreciate a lot in life was 2015, October. First time we saw John, our mentor. Oh, yeah. First time we ever saw him in person was in Brisbane. We went with friends. We bought we bought some tickets. We happened to just be happened to buy tickets that were separate. And so I sat right up the front. Mm. Robin sat right behind with three of our friends. I was on my own. I was in the front row and I heard John speak for the first time. In 2015, we were doing well financially. We had money 
Oop. fairly well taken care of yep. at that point but other areas of our life less so and so from that mm -hmm. point forward we really had a lot of transformation in every other area and but that was the night that when i saw him i felt so called to pursue learning through him and i just knew that i knew that i knew that i had to be there and i ran to the back of the room and i got the, i didn't even consult you about it no. i just knew that you and i both yep. had to get that thing mm -hmm. and buy that thing and we did it and that really has taken our life on a completely different trajectory absolutely and that was been yeah. a, one moment that i sometimes think of and i'm like we just was destined to be there you know mm -hmm. so that's one moment that i definitely have a lot of gratitude for my our business now school of mastery wouldn't exist if it wasn't for that you know? literally no so very grateful for that oh hey <laughs> eh? i think i've fucking shown my cock quite a number of times oh Oh my gosh. Right on my ball bag. Ooh. <laughs> Bath time together is usually quite stressful. You can get the occasional um, Instagram photo and it looks real romantic, but it's actually a fucking quite a shit show, isn't it? I just like having them on my own. Oh, well, I like having it on my own too. You take up too much room. <laughs> is the bubbles covering up our private parts? I think so. <laughs> well, that is the end of another vlog. I don't think you guys have ever been more intimate with us. <laughs> That's the end of the vlog. We'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. See you tomorrow, no, you filthy again. animals. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my cock's gonna be right in the frame like this. <laughs>